the ragged trouser philanthropist is something that changed my whole way of thinking. I was given it in my prison cell by the governor, and he said to me, you shouldn't be in jail, read this. It was written by a man called Robert Tressel, who died penniless and was buried in a pauper's grave. And I often think that might have been me if it wasn't for this book. It's also known as the Building Workers Bible, which is something I'm totally familiar with, being a, a time-served city and guilds plasterer. It's the most important book I've ever read in my life. And I've actually sent copies of this book all over the world. I've sent them to Canada, Australia, America. I've even sent a copy to China. Not only did it change my life politically and the way I was going, it also, it also sort of stirred up again in me the beauty of reading. The story really is, is quite simple. It's about relationships between the haves and the have-nots. We're either all equal or we're not, and we should all be equal. At times, it, it, make, it would make you weep. It would really, really make you weep. And that just wasn't because I was in solitary confinement and I was on my own and I was having a rough time. It was because of what was happening to these characters on that page. I can't stress enough the impression and the effect that that book has had on me. I'd counted the windows in the cell a million times. I'd counted every brick in the wall a million times. And so to, to get the book, it was just, I'm going to read this. I'll, I'll, it'll give me something to do. But it became more than that. It became a passion. It was absolutely unbelievable. I lived every page. I couldn't wait to turn the page. Sometimes I'd go back because I'd say, did that really happen? Well, that's happened to me. I know that. I know fellas who've been killed. I mean, it, it was like a magnet. It just, it just drew me to it, page after page after page, and it was absolutely, well, as I say, it changed my life, you know, and I'm very, very grateful for it. What book made you? Share your story with the nation as Waterstones and Sky Arts go in search of 100,000 lives changed by books.